This week's video is about the most asked question I get on my channel, and that is, where'd you get that pressure pot? Did you make that pressure pot? Where, how do I make a pressure pot like that? Tell me about your pressure pot. So let's take a look at the pressure pot. I'll show you its features. I'll show you how it works and why we made it the way we made it and everything about it. So here it is. You've seen me use them all the time. Basically, the pressure pot is a truck cylinder made off the semi, like the brake cylinders off the, the air braking system of semi trucks. And so that's what this cylinder is. It just started life as a big brakes, as a truck brake cylinder. You can see in the backside here, it's, it's rounded over. And this, we welded this back plate on this quarter inch steel back plate just to hold it up. But the business end of the tank is this half inch thick steel plate. And you can see the welds. Um, if you're contemplating building one of these, you really, really, really need to have the thing welded by a professional welder. Uh, the guy who built these tanks for me, Bob, uh, was a guy with just years and years and years of welding and fabricating experience, knew what he was doing. There's not a leak in any of these. They are, as he would put it, God strong. Uh, and they need to be. This is a place where you really want an expert welder doing your fabricating. You don't, uh, you know, I did not weld these tanks myself because I know what my welds look like. Forget about it. It's not going to happen. So here's the business end of the tank. And what's its main feature is that the door is not round. It's oval. And the reason it's oval is because, as you might have seen me do before, this door, the oval door goes in and comes in and closes from the inside. That's the whole genius of this tank, is that it closes from the inside. So here's the inlet valve, which is currently off, and here's the outlet valve. So let's close the outlet valve, and let's open the inlet valve. And you hear the air rush in, and right away, right away, this door locked itself shut. It is shut tight. And now you can hear the compressor kick on down below. I just use basic, you know, hardware store fittings all around to hook the tank. The air comes out of this regulator. It's set for around 50 pounds per square inch of pressure in this tank. In the, in the, in the working tank, the business tank, the casting tank, we're running about 50 pounds per square inch. The small tank under the compressor is running at about 116 pounds per square inch. And that way, this small tank has a lot more air in it than this tank does, and so it fills up this tank quickly. The, biz the casting tank comes to pressure right away. There's no lag in time uh, waiting for it to come to pressure. I just rigged the whole thing up on this little Mickey Mouse cart that I built out of scrap wood uh, just so I could wheel it around this small shop. Uh, and there you see the whole tank. Uh, again, half inch thick, thick steel, super heavy duty, basic plumbing parts. Oh yeah, the muffler, I wanted to tell you about the muffler. The muffler is just PVC pipe, like this, like inch and a half PVC pipe, standard cap fitting. I, I drilled some holes in it. So, and then it's stuffed with, you can, you can kind of see the stuff coming out here. It's just fiber fill. That stuff they use to stuff pillows with. Um, it's just fiber fill. And here's a, a 90 degree fitting that goes like from a quarter of an inch, uh, I think it's a quarter inch, yeah, to, to one and a half inch fitting. And this is just strictly, you know, big box hardware store stuff. Nothing exotic or fancy about it. Um, yeah, this is a valve. This valve is actually has a much smaller handle, but it's, I don't like it. It's too small for my fingers. So I just put this piece of electrical uh, conduit on there, crimped it on there. And that works really good. So when it's time to take the casting out, now that this tank is all pressurized and the casting is working, you close the inlet valve like that. That seals off so no more air can come from the compressor into the tank. And then we just open the outlet valve. You can see the fiber fill kind of streaming straight out. So it's kind of leaking out of the holes. And so this is gonna let the pressure out of the tank. And you can see that you can usually see the door drop. That didn't stay in place this time, but often the door drops, but then it just falls away. And it's great advantage of speed. It loads and unloads just that fast. Now the disadvantage to this design is you have to have a tank with pretty good capacity. It's pretty deep. It's the full length of the pipe because your molds have to fit in and you've got to be able to get the door in. So you need room inside the tank to get the door in and close it. 
That's the biggest disadvantage to the design. The, big, the huge advantage to the design is that you can cycle the parts in and out of the tank super fast. So I'm really pleased with this cart. I'm really pleased with the design. It's worked out really well for me. And uh, if you do have it built, the only thing I will tell you is for God's sake, use a professional certified welder with a lot of experience, especially one with experience uh, welding on pressure vessels and, and air systems and pressurized systems because you really have to know what you're doing because you do not want to make something that's going to blow up in your face and kill you. <laughs> Don't do that. I will not be held responsible. You know, so I don't want your family calling me, you killed our kid. I said, I didn't kill you. You did a lousy welding. Told him not to blow the welding job and he did. So don't do it. All right, that's enough of this. Now you know everything there is to know about my pressure pot. I have made one video per week for 16 months and uh, <laughs> I'm tired. I'm going to take the rest of the year off. Uh, it's been an amazing year, especially the last couple months when this channel has just taken off. It's crazy and it's all because of you guys and I just want to say thank you very much. Uh, it's been an amazing, amazing experience for me and it's all because of you guys. So have a happy holidays. Stay safe. Put a bag over your head. Put a bag over your entire body. Sit in the closet. Don't talk to anybody. Stay safe. And I will see you back here on Friday, January the 8th. Thanks so much for watching. See you then.